Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Diablo 4 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what we need to do is when you are having these kind of trouble the first one is all about what we need to do is sometimes we just need to do a simple restart on your system so just go over here in the start click on this start icon go to the power icon go for a restart once the restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what you have to do as the first step once after trying with a simple restart if we are having still with the issue then we can try with the next one that is all about we have to verify not to verify we have to do this we just need to launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam that is what we have to do so we just need to launch the game from the installation folder so just launch the game from uh, not from the steam but the installation folder we have a two way to navigate to the installation folder one we have a shortcut from the steam right click go to the properties go to the install it file just click on the browse that will take you to this installation folder and if you go over here at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common diablo 4 now from here we just need to try launch the game and this is what you have to do as the first one so this is very important you have to try with this as the first one next one we can also do the same or we can navigate to the same installation folder but using the file explorer so just go over here in the file explorer now go to this pc now go to the local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam we have to navigate to steam amps now go to common now from here we have to navigate to diablo 4 just navigate to diablo 4 now from here we have to launch the game from here this will be this is also fine we can either depend on the shortcut from the steam or you can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer both of the things are fine we are not issue with it and you can try this out next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the show more option go to the properties compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator so if this is checked if this is marked unchecked you have to check this run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game this is also a very important step which worked for many users in the past so you can try this out next one we can try launch the game in the compatibility mode so just right click go to show more options and we have to go to the properties compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode either we can set this to windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok or we can set this to windows 8 and we can go for apply and we can go go for ok as well so once afterwards close this and we have to go back try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to set the uh, you know region and we have to make sure the date and time is correct so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings now from here we have to navigate to the time and language go for date and time make sure the time and time zone should be turned on this is very important we have to go back go to the language and region now from here we have to select the geography according to your country so uh, if you're from united states do the same if you're from united kingdom we have to select united kingdom so vice versa you have to select according to your geography once afterwards close everything and we have to go back try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard which is a very important step and it worked for many users so you need to try this out as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer now we have to go to this pc go to the documents over here and if you find the game anywhere here we just need to delete the folder and also keep in mind we just need to go over here in the my games over here also if you find the folder of diablo 4 if it is not available there you can cross check in this particular folder and if you find the folder just delete it and keep in mind when you do this you will be losing everything which is a very important step and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the control panel now from here we have to navigate to system and security go for windows defender firewall 
Go for allow and apport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to scroll down and navigate to Diablo 4. So as you can see the Diablo 4 is already there and we have to make sure both the private and public has to be checked. So once you cross check this, this is a very important one and once afterwards we just need to click on the change setting. Now from here we have to go for if the game is not here we can add it by default so just click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now we have to go to this PC. Go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to go to steam amps and we have to go to common. Now from here we have to go to Diablo 4 and we need to add the game. So here I'll be getting the error because the game is already added that is why I'm getting the error so we need to add the game. Once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is so we just need to allow the game. Now, like I said, we, it's already done. We have to unplug all the USB devices. So we know that we might be connected with multiple controllers or additional controllers, which is the reason why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove everything. Once afterwards, launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, we have to connect it back and try continue playing the game. And that is what we have to do. And this even worked for many users. We can try this out as well. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to go to system configuration now from here we have to navigate to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok they're gonna ask you restart we have to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay that is what we have to do so just go to the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure if it is turned on we have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game next one is we have to give the commands in the launch option so this is a very important step that we have to try with the first command that is dx11 try with dx11 if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, we need to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So just go over here go to the start right click over here and we have to go to the task manager. Now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. So all these things are actually running in the background at the same time when we are trying to launch the game that is why we are having the crashing issue because both, the, both these things are running at the same time. So what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted thing. For example, if you find the Discord, just remove it. If you find, you know, for example, Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner and all those things, just remove the unwanted things from here. And once you remove the it, we have to close everything and we need to go back and we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, what we need to do is we just need to perform uh, like I said we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the uh, graphics settings now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running over here so we just need to add it so just click on the browse so that we need to go over here in this PC and we have to go to uh, the game we have to go to the installation folder so let me go over here in the steam we have to go to steam amps and we have to go to common and Diablo 4 and we have to add it. So I think the game is already added. So if you scroll down, as you can see, the Diablo is already added. Just select the game, go for option after adding it. By default, this, is, this will be let Windows decide and you have to change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about we just need to increase the virtual memory and what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the view advanced system setting go to the advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change now from here we have to uncheck this particular one and select the local disk c we have to go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so just go over here in the search we have to go to the calculator just type your ram 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one we have to go for 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it 
and we have to set everything over here and we have to close this and we have to go back try launch the game because increasing the virtual memory is a very important step and it worked for many users you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, increase like i said we need to update the graphics card manually so just go over here so uh, if you're over here in the nvidia i'll be providing the nvidia as well as amd link so the nvidia users have to go over here and now from here you have to select like your product type product series everything should be selected and if you go for start search what happens is you'll be able to get the driver version 545.84 which is the latest released one you have to which is released on October 17, 2023. So just download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, we have to download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one, if you're on the installation folder, if the Microsoft Visual C++, you have to go over here. And from here, if the system is based on x64, download this one, install, restart is a mandatory. And if the system is based on x86, download this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search and we have to go over here, go to the settings over here and we have to go to the windows update. Now from here, we have to check for the updates and once you check for the update, you have to keep in mind the window should be up to date as you can see on 12, 18th, which is late, it is up to date. So we are fine with that or else you need to update it the latest version and once afterwards, just go over here and try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here in the game to go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you have to keep in mind you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you uninstall and you have to try a new local disk and that will be working fine as well. Last and the least step is all about we have to do the verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, click on the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is a very important step and you can try this over as well and these are the possible workarounds so we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and at once afterwards i'll be showing you what you have to do afterwards
So once its 4046 files are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game. And these are the possible workarounds you have to try when you are having the issue. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. For more notifications, see you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.